Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Evil Extreme here. Here we are on the 27th of March 2024 for today's mod review. We've only got two mods today. However, there is one update to the T440 multi Horror pack by Mark IV. And that is a monster of an update and... What I'm going to be doing is, I'll do a short review on it today. But I want to have some of it, I'll get a video up tomorrow maybe, of testing it on four fields. But yeah, we'll come to that update towards the end of the video here. But for now, and as always, all the timestamps are down below. So for our first mod of the day, we've got the TT100L. This is a loader by... Rishi Rishultri Pazzi. I am new on butchering that. 4.99 megabytes download. Free slots on console. And yeah, you can find this under your tools. Go down to the loaders. And at the end, and basically what it is mainly designed for is for tractors with rice wheels. But yeah. 25 grand, 3.4 tons. It says maximum permissive weight is 10 tons, but I think I got away with that a little bit here because, yeah, I thought, yeah, welcome work on two tractors, a JCB and that, and how much do they weigh? So, JCB on its own weighs 9 tons, and a small tractor, so that's 12.6 tons. But yeah, I'm not going to hook up to that, I'm going to hook up to one of these other ones. Because so yes, this comes in red, blue, green, orange, and black. So I'll go check, yep. Oh, yeah, and black, yep. So, various little options I'll have, a, whether it's grills or as a flat deck. But at the end of the day, stuffing too much is a bit more aesthetic, so... Open our help window. So L1 and right analog stick, left and right. You press left, it raise it up. You got to hold it to raise it up and hold right to bring it back to level. There is no I hear a sapping sound, but farms aware there ain't no tension belts, or at least anything that is visible. Let's so we have a look here. So if I say hop on here. So if I try that. So yeah. Alright, that's come off, but put the tension belts back on. Let's sure let's get rid of that. Pop into the fence. I'm well, not the fence, the GCP. Actually, no, right? Can't go forwards. I'm guessing how it's working. Rather than tension belting all the way across, it's only tension belting, let's say, here to here, and then here to here. That makes sense why we're able to sort of semi move the GCB. By the day, we're not going anywhere, so. Alright, my correction does have tension belt support. It's just not visible, so. That is the TT100L by Rishi Cottery Pazzi. Next. We've got something. Very different. This is the floor markings by Andy Modding. 1.90 megabytes to download. And uh, basically, these are decorative items you put on the floor. And we range from bus marking, car marking, turn arrow, human, arrow marking, so things like dedicated lanes, no stopping. No stop in left, no stop in left right, no parking, no parking left, no parking left and right, zebra crossing, 
we've got a zone and then also a 50 add 30 kilometers kilometer per hour speed limit and then to round it off we've got cow marking wild crossing horse mark well wild crossing horse marking tractor marking and lastly but not least parking lot marking so you'll find these under build mode under decorations all of these are two slots each and goes down to one so you've got options to rotate it you press L3 you can snap it and for a lot of this it's like where you get certain maps where you could own the roads like here on Z Long Car I don't think we can own the roads or at least not all of it yeah because obviously you try to purchase some land but yeah you get some maps where you can have and can have and own the roads and even in certain maps create your own roads so but yeah you sort of see the gist of it so let's say you want to create a three lane road say you have one lane go straight ahead and then if you want to you can have a turn left lane here ideally you have a dedicated lane but at the end of the day, some minor details. This ain't like city skylines and that, but so yeah, I was just full yeah, helpful with interesting signs and a lot of these are designed with buildings in mind. So for example, let's get a cell point down. Something like that, fast food restaurant. You go and walk that down. And then you think, ooh. Let's get a bit of parking for our customers. So you go to your decorations, go to others, and then what you would do, you can have like parking bays and that as mods, or just whack a couple of these down. So get some dedicated lanes, like stripes down. Let's go bang, bang, and bang. But yeah definitely a helpful little mod this is and something that may come in quite handy with those who like to roleplay for those who like to customize their own maps and that but yeah so that is the floor markings by Andy Modin and that is all of our brand new mods of, the of today however I'm going to head to the T440 and yeah, before this was a, a very good beast where it did sugar beet and potato harvesting in that. However, update 1.001 and before we'll have a look at all the equipment and the updates to it, I'm just going to read the mod description in summary. So, starting off with, it's got support of the premium expansion. Apologies there, little C. So yeah. This supports the premium expansion with all the new root crops, so beetroot, carrots, parsnip, sugar beets, potatoes, and cotton. So yeah, it supports the new root crops and supports the addition of cotton. Just, yeah, I think it's to match the Lizard Colossus pack by Chris S and Riley S. Because that's become a beast of a mod and yeah, this has definitely been worth it by Mark IV, so yeah, that's the first one. Next, actually, sorry, it starts with improved AI worker, so, which, given the change of this, you can probably tell by the title and thumbnail of this, I know what's going to be already. But yeah, so improved AI workers, also added equipment configurations for forage contract missions, so you need the forage contracts mod for it to work. Unfortunately this is only for a PC. Bummer. Hopefully something you'll see in FS25 but nevertheless beetroots, carrots, yeah, yeah we've gone over that. But also all these crops can be harvested with a AIO header, so all in one header with a variety of speed options so we'll have a look at those. Next it says to be able to harvest the potatoes, sugar beets and sugar cane you need the relevant headers and you can 
purchase the individual headers for each of those crops if you wish. Not all of them. That says here yeah, you can purchase these each for 250 bucks. Once purchased, you'll find the parts as a crate and you can attach it to the front of the header and then just select the add-on and detach when finished. Next it says, there's an option to add potato, sugar beet or sugar cane decal to your headers to help with identification but don't have to. Now, some of the brand new additions, so for one, we've got a forage harvester, so that's what we've got over here, we'll have a look at this and we'll get that working. Add a 9 meter standard forage header, available at 9 miles an hour at 25 grand, 18 miles an hour for 30 grand, or a unreal capacity of, I think it's like 60 whatever it is miles an hour, for 35 grand. Ah, yeah, it says, find this forest officer, heads the forest headers category, yeah, we knew that. Also, this can do grass. Next, it's giving us an option for a popular header, so similar speeds, 9, 18, and Unreal. And obviously, you attach it to the forest officer header, so things like popular nat, you will attach to this. And then, second to that, it's, we've got a brand new trader. This is the Lizard RRW 500 Multi and it can store all crops in that at a staggering 10 million litres. And yeah, this does I think come with a hitch. Yeah, it comes with a hitch. So if you want to, you could do this in tandem. And yeah, it says also for a final note, it says add a pin hitch to the header trailer so you can daisy chain. So potentially, if you want to, you can daisy chain headers and that, but not sure what you'll do that. So yeah, this is a colossal update. So first of all, you'll find these under beat technology. Yeah, beat technology, head to the end. So yeah, got your normal harvester, same old as it is, 5 minutes of capacity at 15 slots, nothing new. But as you can see, we've all got the new crops, so sugar, sugar cane poplars and that, you can do parsnip, carrots and red beets. For the forage harvester, you'll find this under forage harvesters, of course. And yeah, it's a Homer Terados T440 forage harvester. It is 15 slots for console. And yeah, in terms with uh, fin capacity for fuel, we do have an option for 5,000 litres of fuel. So yeah, 5 minute, yeah, five minute of capacity. Fairs of your typical engine options you'll see, so from 626, 850, 1350, 1850, 2350, and then up to 5,000 miles an hour. We'll set up, you've got BKT. Michelin's, Trailborgs, Mitas, and then back down to BKT's. The colours is the same, so this is more of a like a chrome colour default. However, you do yeah, actually yeah, chrome green yeah, so but there is other options. You can have turquoise if you wish. There we go, have a nice bright turquoise. You can have a blush colour gold if you wish but yeah so that is that next for the header so you'll find these under beat technology so yeah we got the sugar beet header also you got the potato header and then i'm assuming yeah sugar cane header but yeah go back to beat technology head to the end so yeah we've got our all in one so we got 12 miles an hour, 24 miles an hour, or 68 miles an hour. Dang it, one mile an hour short of being the mean speed of 69 miles an hour, but that's whether or not we can actually harvest that 69 miles an hour, 68 miles an hour, but I'll look at that in my test video later on or tomorrow. But yeah, here's the sweet thing about these. So yeah, working with 
you got standard, blue light 50 meters, red light 50 meters. So that is the same as the Lizard Colossus pack. However, now you could harvest that 100 meters working width. Seriously, 100 meters. And then back down to standards. So you got decal, so you got sugar. And there it is. So yeah, potato decal, sugar beet, sugar cane, or none. So yeah, we got some selected. Oh, and lastly, four forge harvesters. So, on the forge harvester headers, down to the end. So you got your typical forge headers and that. And then you got also your poplars and that. Uh, yep, yeah, as again, all exactly the same, so standards and fast. That's just as they are. If you go to Unreal, you've got options for 100 meters or 50 meters. Color configurations are the same. Uh, yep, yeah, same with Poplar, just doing a quick show net. So, yeah, I've got two pieces of equipment, so I know this ain't the biggest of fields. I think I may have gone for yeah, let's unfold it. No, not that. Got unfold the harvester. So yeah, in theory, can you actually can you tow the trailer? I wonder. So that's got a pin hook. Ah, no, you can't. Obviously, attach that to the back of this. But yeah, at five million liters of capacity. It's going to take you a while to fill this up. And yeah. <laughs> Just like that. Boom. And yeah, I think as we learned with the Colossus pack. Yeah, it does struggle a little bit. When it comes to yeah, short turn in snap, so perhaps one thing to be careful of. And then, yeah, at the end of the day, once you're done, unfold it as you do. Actually, what crop is this? So, yeah. Let's just head to the big field here a sec. So, there we go. Hop across. See, so, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to put these lights on. And, yeah. I think I'm about on the edge of the field. Yep, I'm on the edge. And that covers... Yeah, this is a, a very large field, and it covers a lot of that, so... Turn on. So yeah, actually, we can do a quick test here, so... Actually, my correction, so... I'm used to the one by Chris S and Ryan, the closest one to constantly hop and skip about. As soon as you go over 20, 30 miles an hour, that's it. It just hops, skips a beat. Not in a good way. Not like a scat man. But in a way that, uh, yeah, just tends to miss stuff. Yeah, of course with this, if you take sharp turns, you will miss it because it's adjusting the header now, so... Oh yeah, you're going at 6 miles hour taking a sharp turn off suddenly. Let's go to call something. So yeah, now let's go and unfold this. And just quickly show with a root crop harvest, so... Screw it, we'll do 80 here. And yeah, the reason why I'm doing it on this map today is because... Yep, yeah, simply, I didn't have any root crops planted and... I really want to demonstrate these new headers and that in action, so there we go. Wait a minute, is that even ready to harvest? Yeah, so didn't have access to the other field, so, yeah, that's, again, one thing to be careful of, gonna need to own all the fields, there we go, that's better, because obviously where we was hitting the other fields now, 
Of course, yeah, makes sense now, but she didn't think of it, so... And, so yeah, if you want to do root drops, and you just can't be bothered to deal with that, balancing a global transport bag on it, or using, if you're on PC, something like horse play that. If you want to do a root crop harvest of any sort, including sugarcane and poplars, just get one of these. These are like absolutely beautiful to have. So we're at 235,000 capacity. So let's go and fill up the trailer. Uh, yeah, this has definitely been a game-changing update. Like the Colossus Pack was when that has update. But this has raised the ball game even more now, so... I am excited and... I do wonder what more is there to come from this, like... Seriously, it's like... mind blown. And yet, you shouldn't show updates too much, unless it's all significant, but... Oh, this is a must-have mod, definitely. Definitely onto my list of mods I would have on a any Let's Play series, on any game save. Regardless of what I'm doing, to an extent. And yeah, so I just thought get a fend here. Give a bit of a test around. Yeah, it's only 2% full. Obviously, like we have a lot of these trailers that we've been seeing recently, it does have a bit of a false positive weight in the XML file, so rather than be affected by its weight as it would be in real life, due to advancing technology and all that, and whatever else, it is very less weighty, so it's easier to pull with small equipment, and yep, Bob's drug hole. And yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave it today, so... And that is it for all the mods today for the 27th of March 2024. Hope you enjoyed this mod review. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share it, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to our channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this will be from Evo Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.